Okay, today we're going to be multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation. Now the thing that we need to remember is that when we're multiplying and dividing, we're going to use our regular rules for exponents. So our steps are over here on the side. The first thing that we're going to do is combine our like terms. Then we're going to solve using our exponent rules. And then finally, we'll need to check and make sure that our solution is in scientific notation. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first example. I have 2.32 times 10 to the negative 6 multiplied by 4 times 10 to the negative 5th. Now the first thing I want to do is combine my like terms. When I'm combining my like terms, I take my regular numbers, 2.32, and I'm going to take my 4. Those are my regular numbers that I'm going to pull together. I'm going to combine them. So now I have 2.32 times 4. My other set of like terms are my numbers with exponents. I've got 10 to the negative 6 and I've got 10 to the negative 5. I'm also going to bring those together. Now the reason I can move these all around is because this is all multiplication and commutative property allows me to move those numbers around. So I'm going to bring together my 10 to the negative 6 times my 10 to the negative 5. Now the first step here is to start to solve. Regular numbers are we're just going to multiply and 2.32 times 4 is 9.28. Then my 10 to the negative 6 times 10 to the negative 5th is going to be 10 to the, remember when we are multiplying numbers with exponents, we keep the base and we add our exponents. So I have negative 6 plus negative 5. So this comes down to 9.28 times 10 to the negative 6 plus negative 5 is a negative 11. And I am done. The reason I'm done is because number 3 says check to make sure the solution is in scientific notation. And notice that I do have one number here on the left, so it is in scientific notation. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a few more examples. We have another multiplication here. We've got 1.08 times 10 to the negative third times 9.3 times 10 to the negative third. So the first thing I'm going to do is combine my like terms. I'm going to take my regular numbers and I'm going to pull them together. I have 1.08 times 9.3. I also have another set of like terms, my numbers with exponents. I've got 10 to the negative third and 10 to the negative third. I'm going to go ahead and pull those together. I've got 10 to the negative third times 10 to the negative third. Now when I go ahead and start to solve step 2, I get 1.08 times 9.3. If I multiply those, I get 10.04. Then I take a look at my bases. I have the same base of 10, and I'm going to add my exponents. So I have 10 to the negative 3 plus negative 3. If I start to simplify this, I got 0 0.04 times 10 to the negative 3, and negative 3 is negative 6. So I've solved using my step 2. Now, step three tells me to check to make sure my solution is in scientific notation. If I take a look at my number, it is not in scientific notation. Notice I have two numbers on the left. I can only have one. Now, this is a really small number. So notice that this is negative six. That means that decimal was all the way over here. And they moved it to move it into scientific notation. And we moved it a little bit too far. So that means I'm going to have to move it back. And if I have to move it back, then that means that this I also have to change my exponent. So I'm going to end up with 1.004 times 10 to the negative 5. Because we had moved it negative 6, but that was too far. So that means we only want to move it negative 5 in order to get the correct scientific notation. It's important to really think about what this negative 6 means. Remember that we are moving our decimal 6 points from the left. Okay, let's take a look at our second one. We've got some division here. Now division is the same thing. We're still going to combine our like terms. 
Notice I have 4 times 10 to the 4th divided by 3.6 times 10 to the negative 4th. I'm going to combine my regular numbers and I'm going to combine my numbers with exponents. When I have 4 divided by 3.63, when I tap that in on the calculator, I get 1.1. When I combine my numbers with exponents, remember I am going to subtract my exponents. Since this is division, I'm going to subtract my exponents. It's important to write this out because remember this is 4 minus a negative 4. 4 minus a negative 4. Now when I'm subtracting a negative, I actually end up adding. When you subtract a negative, it's the same as adding. So now I have an answer of 1.1 times 10. That ends up being 4 plus 4 is 8. Now check my solution. Is it in scientific notation? And I do have one number on the left, so it is in scientific notation, and I'm done. Let's take a look at one more. Again, I have division. I've got my regular numbers here, and I've got my numbers with exponents on the side. I'm going to combine my regular numbers and I am going to combine my numbers with exponents. When I take 7.1 and divide it by 8.2, I get 0.87. I'm already noticing this is not scientific notation, so I'm going to have to do something about that at the end. Then I'm going to do my exponents. I've got 10, a base of 10, so I'm going to keep that. And remember, I'm going to subtract my exponents, 6 minus 1. So now I have 0.87 times 10 to the fifth. Now, this is a really large number. Notice that this is a positive exponent. So this was a large number. And when they were moving the decimal, or if we were to convert it back, the decimal's gone too far. That means they moved it five, but they should have only moved it four. So this is going to be 8.7 times 10 to the fourth because to the fifth would take it too far. The four is where we need to be. So that is my solution. And that is multiplying and dividing in scientific notation.